All right, in this video, I'm going to be tying up the Juby. The Juby uh, is a floss-bodied fly that was first tied by Tom McNally in 1952. He was an outdoor editor for the Baltimore Evening Sun. Uh, it calls for <coughs> uh, size 6, 4X long hook. I think uh, a 2X long is just fine. Uh, so that's what I have in the vise, a Daiki 1710 and a size 6. Uh, I'm going to be tying this fly with uh, Danville's fluorescent white nylon and uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay down a base of thread. I'm going to start about a hook eye's length or hook eye's length and a half behind the eye and bring our thread down. And it calls to lacquer the hook because we're going to be adding some lead. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that with some Sally Hansen. And it calls for nine wraps of lead. So I've just got some lead here that I'm going to flatten with my fingernail. And then we'll start our wraps. I've got mine. I'm just going to slide that lead forward towards the eye. You want that to be about a hook eye's length behind the eye. Go ahead and bring my thread back forward and begin to capture the lead. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit that one more time with some Sally Hansen's just to protect, protect the lead and keep it from um, bleeding through our uh, floss wraps, thread and floss wraps. And next I'm going to go ahead and build up a decent taper with our thread. Kind of build up <clears throat> the rear of the fly. Take your time.
looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and take my thread all the way back to the bar. And for the tail, <coughs> it calls for uh, some yellow. Um, I'm sorry, uh, for the tail, some yellow duck pointer. So I've got some yellow here. And I'm just going to cut out a section of that about that width. And tie that down as our tail. Be a little long. snip away our excess alright next we need to tie in some silver tinsel that will be used as ribbing just kind of narrow silver tinsel here Cut out about six, eight inches of that. <clears throat> and for the body, we're going to use some white floss some white floss here and I'm just going to pull off oh, probably about a foot of that I like to tie that in at the butt but bring the tag up towards the front of the fly just so we have a nice even body <coughs> and then trim our tag and then advance our thread and then begin to wrap the body with our floss you want to do this as delicately as possible or else you'll start to fray your floss even with your fingertips so a light hand is helpful sometimes easier said than done Just take your time. Touching wraps the whole way forward. and then we'll just capture our floss and trim off our tag 
Next we're going to wrap our tinsel. Bring it forward and <clears throat> try to keep your wraps even. And we'll just capture our tinsel. And cut away the excess. And next I like to touch the body with a light coating of Sally Hansen's just to protect the floss and ribbing. For the wing, we're going to tie it in um, sort of like a throat, so it calls for a yellow saddle hackle. And for throats, I like something that's pretty webby. So I'm just going to, this is just strong yellow hackle, yellow saddle hackle. I'm just going to pick a fairly wide and webby feather, something about like that. <clears throat> we want to make sure our Sally Hansen's is dry before we move forward with the, the throat. It feels pretty good. So I, I don't want the fluff, I want these kind of webby fibers up here and I want to take a section probably about that thick by the tips and then just give a rip just rip them off the stem and you should end up with a nice bunch of barbs so I'm going to go ahead and tie them in throat style <clears throat> And basically the tips the tips of the throat should be about at the tip of the the hook so I'm going to tie them in a, on the side with a couple of loose wraps and then just kind of lift to bring it to the bottom of the hook and check my length a little long there so I'm just going to pull it through that looks pretty good. Once you get your length right, just begin advancing your thread forward. Get a couple of wraps. And then we want to cut the tag end of our feather off. Take your time. Looks about right. So now we're going to build up, build up a white head, small little head. Pretty good. Snip these little ends here again. All right, and we'll give a whip finish.
and then snipper thread. All right, to finish the head, I'm going to use some yellow UTC 140. I'm just going to go ahead and tie that in on the head to so get a nice yellow head. Snipper tag. And just build up a decent sized yellow cone head. And that looks pretty good. Go ahead and whip finish. and stipper thread. Alright, next I'm just going to touch the head with some Sally Hansen's sealer thread wraps. Alright, I'd say you could probably stop right there and have a very fishable fly. It's a good looking fly just like that. <clears throat> but the original does call uh, for some eyes. I think the head is a little small to try to get an iris in pupil, so I think I'm just going to do um, a, a red eye. Um, but first we need to let our um, Sally Hansen's dry. Alright, so our Sally Hansen's is dry, and to paint on the eyes I'm just going to use um, a small nail. Uh, that I have where I filed down the, the tip flap <clears throat> and some red nail polish that I stole from my wife. Sorry honey. <laughs> She's used to it. So I'm just going to touch that nail in the nail polish and then I just want to take the nail and touch the paint to the tip without really touching the nail to the tip. There we are, we've got a little red eye there on each side. So we want to let that dry and then we'll put on a final coat of Sally Hansen's to protect the eye. Alright, so our eyes are dry. I'm just going to go ahead and finish with one final coat of Sally Hansen's to protect the eyes. <clears throat> Alright, and there you have it, the Juby. Uh, fly created by Tom McNally in 1952. Very nice looking little fly.